Hi, I'm Dr. Angela McBrady of drflute.com, and today's flute tip is on playing flat scales to expand your tone. We all want a bigger sound, a larger sound. And sometimes with the flute that we have, it can be a little bit difficult. I feel like if I switched out to a gold head joint or I put platinum on the lip plate, that would just automatically give me a bigger sound. But we can get a bigger sound with the flutes that we have. It doesn't always have to be the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. And we have to get a different head joint and we have to put gold on or we have to use platinum. You can do it yourself, and it's just a little bit of work. I had a teacher that showed me to use this exercise, which I call flat scales. And that is, you are playing a regular scale, and then when you get to the seventh, you play a flat seven, and then the natural seventh. On the way up, on the way down, you use that flat seventh, and then come down the arpeggio, the fifth, the third, and the bottom. And the idea here is to play it with as much power as you can. When I have students do that, what is difficult is to get them away from thinking that they need to sound good. This is not an exercise where you're looking for that beautiful sound. What you're doing here is playing as large as you can. You're going to the edge of cracking, even allowing it to crack if it needs to, because you're finding the edge. How big could you play? And then you're going to know where your parameters are. You're going to know, oh, I could probably play bigger than I've ever thought I could. Um, and I know where too big is, but I know I can get to pretty good, uh, pretty big sound here. Let me show you. I'm going to start with my low C scale. I'm going to take a breath here and then come down the flat seventh arpeggio. I don't care that it sounds ugly or that my vibrato sounds really big. I'm thinking, what can I do to expand it? Now, one of the things I'm doing is making the inside of my mouth very big. It's as big as I can get and as open as I can get because that's going to allow more sound to come out. And then uh, I am making sure that I fill up my air, my cheeks with air. So I'm using an air that's in my cheeks that helps get that resonance going. Uh, next, I will do C sharp. So I'm only right now doing it one octave up. It's okay if you squeak. What you're going to do is then experiment with what angle do you need to blow that air in order for it to not squeak or not to jump up the octave. Can you blow the air just a little bit more down? That might be the key to being able to still play big and not have it jump the octave or just squeak on you. This is a great exercise. When I have it, my students work on it, I have them just do an octave, so from the C to the C, uh, for one week or two weeks or three weeks or a month. And then um, we work on the next octave. So you can do it all the way up, but I would only do one octave at a time. I wouldn't play from the low C up two octaves and then come down the arpeggio. I think you need to work on one octave and the problems that are inherent in that octave at a time. That's the way I work at expanding my sound. It'll work for you. It has worked for my students. It's a great exercise and enjoy working on expanding your sound. That's today's flute tip. If you like this video, press the like button, comment below, share it with your friends, and subscribe.